Cut at a mile $16,500 the purse. Win play show exact the trifecta wagering start of the $2 pick four. Post positions one through four were drawn and post positions five and six drawn. Here's the field. One is Columbus Hanover owned by Jan and Doug Snyder trained by Perry Smith driven by Eric Letford. Two is All Sundown, owned by PB Racing Stables and Stan Blumenfeld, trained by Paul Blumenfeld. The correct driver is Andy Miller. Note that, please. Three is Sequel Ranger, owned by David, David Brewer and Julius Muni, trained by Darby Miller. The correct driver is Tim Tietrich. Note that, please. Four is Abra, owned by Phil and Robert Rietveld, trained by Roger Welch, driven by Mike Osting. Five is our lock of the night on the front page of the program. That's Life's a Holiday, owned by Jay Hochstetler, also owned, trained, and has Homer Hochstetler in the sulky. More on them in a moment. Here's six, Mr. McIntosh. He completes the field. He's owned by the Samber Farms, also owned and trained by Doug Hamilton, driven by Dave McGee. That's the field. As we mentioned in the post parade, our program handicapper has made his lock of the night in this race, and that's five, Life's a Holiday. For a full comment on the Illinois bread, please look at the front page of the program. Eighth of a mile to the start. Here they come. And they're off. That's Life's a Holiday and All Sundown going for the lead, and All Sundown is fastest of all. Columbus Hanover along the inside is second. Off stride going into the turn was Sequel Ranger. Sequel Ranger made a break. Abra and Mr. McIntosh get around him. Moving up for the lead is All Sundown. Columbus Hanover is second by two. Dropping in third was Life's a Holiday by two and three quarters. Abra is fourth. Mr. McIntosh is fifth. And still off stride is Sequel Ranger. First quarter in 28 seconds flat. It's all Sundown the leader out of the pocket. Here comes Columbus Hanover, and Columbus Hanover takes the lead. Miller wrangling back all Sundown to yield. Up on the outside, Life's a Holiday third, now second. And Life's a Holiday will move up and take the lead. Columbus Hanover is second. Followed in third by All Sundown. It's two and a half lengths to fourth where it's Abra. Mr. McIntosh is fifth. Distanced, trotting is Sequel Ranger. Field went by the half in 57 and 3, 29 and 3 for the second quarter. It's Life's a Holiday on top a length and a half. Columbus Hanover is second. Mr. McIntosh first over in third. On the inside, All Sundown is fourth. Up on the outside, Abra second over in fifth and about four and a half lengths off the lead. Five sixteenths of a mile to go. Life's a Holiday, the leader, half a length. Mr. McIntosh up at his throat latch in second. Columbus Hanover on the inside third. Abra moves up on the outside and fourth. Then on the inside, All Sundown. Three quarters, 127 and 1. 20 29 and 3 for the third quarter. On the inside, Life's a Holiday. At his flank on the outside is Mr. McIntosh. It's two and a half lengths to Columbus Hanover, then Abra at mid stretch. It's still Life's a Holiday. Mr. McIntosh won't go away and is coming on. It's going to be close. Who's it going to be? Very tight, Mr. McIntosh on the outside. Life's a holiday on the inside. A distant third, Columbus Hanover, 155. Returning to the winner's circle with his second in a row, a game first over victory is six, Mr. McIntosh. He's an Illinois conceived and fold six-year-old gelded son of Armbro McIntosh out of the Abercrombie Mare Unruled. Is owned by the Sandburg Farms. Also owned and well-trained by Doug Hamilton there of Illinois and Indiana. Dave McGee, the driver. Mr. McIntosh winning in 155 flat. And for the pacing bread gelding, that's a lifetime mark. That's a driving double for Dave McGee.